I'm going to try to get through this without saying okay 50,000 times and um, doesn't look like I'm off to a very good start with that, but I'm going to try to regroup. Um, for those of you who read my blog post yesterday, you know that my husband is forcing me to do this. He knows I absolutely hate video cameras. But it was either this or wear a horrible revealing costume at Comic-Con in July. And there's no way that's going to happen, so vlogging is definitely the lesser of two evils. Um, and I thought I had him too, because I told him that's fine, he could pick the subject of my vlog. But it had to be writing related, because, you know, that's what this blog is about. And I should have known when he got a big grin on his face that I was in for it. And he just sort of laughed and said, that's fine, but your vlog is going to be about Ella. And he's definitely an evil genius for that. This is Ella. She is something that I've had since I was four years old. She is a puffalump. And um, I'm pretty sure she was supposed to be a boy because, well, she's blue. And she also is only wearing a Hawaiian shirt, which really isn't very ladylike. But to four-year-old Shannon, she was a girl. And in my brilliant creativity, I named my stuffed elephant Ella, go me. And she's embarrassing because I still sleep with her. I actually can't sleep without her. So she has gone with me everywhere, every trip, everywhere. And um, it's actually pretty funny. She always goes in my carry-on because, you know, luggage can get lost and this is something that's precious to me. I'm a dork. <laughs> so she goes in my carry-on and um, they usually make me take her out when I go through security at the airport and have her run through the scanners separately. Probably because they're convinced that, you know, no 28-year-old would actually be sleeping with a bright blue elephant, so she must be secretly hiding weapons of mass destruction. But no, I'm just a loser. <laughs> um, she, I personally think she looks pretty good, considering, you know, she's 24 years old. She's been through a lot, but I can actually show you what she's supposed to look like, because I have a backup. I got it on eBay. This is what she looked like when I got Ella. <laughs> she had these really cool, wild thing, yellow sunglasses that um, I have since lost, because these aren't comfortable to sleep with. She's also much fluffier. This one sort of looks like the shell of Ella. I'm not sure where all the stuffing went. I'm thinking it just sort of got compacted down or something because she's a little lumpy. But I like her that way. And there's obvious color difference. Even though I wash Ella in the washing machine about every couple of months to keep her, you know, sanitary. But this is much cleaner looking, especially when you look at the shirts. This one's white. Ella's is, well, well, we'll just call it tan. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason that Ella is writing related is because Ella is actually in my book. Um, I didn't give my main character a lot of similarities to myself, at least not intentionally. I'm sure there probably are some. But one of the few things that I did was I gave her a bright blue elephant that wears a Hawaiian shirt as um, a stuffed animal that she can't sleep without. And um, she kind of leans on it whenever she goes through some of the hard things that I put her through because I'm an evil writer like that. <laughs> and it's pretty funny because when I got my revision notes from Laura, Ella was actually mentioned. She really liked the detail of Ella, <laughs> but the note was that 12 years old is a little bit too old to still be sleeping with a stuffed animal. So um, in a couple of scenes where some other characters are finding out about Ella, my main character should probably be a little bit more embarrassed, <laughs> which clearly wouldn't occur to me, <laughs> the 28-year-old who still sleeps with Ella, and I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Thanks a lot, honey. You're evil. Still better than wearing a costume to Comic-Con, though. So yeah, you guys now have had a huge dose of Shannon Shame, because I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of people who 
still sleep with stuffed animals, especially kind of deflated looking bright blue elephants, but I'm one of them. My husband has decided to find it charming. Alright, there's your Shannon shame for the day. I think I'm gonna go crawl under a rock and uh, avoid the comments where you guys can just, you know, make fun of me. And um, thanks for watching.